delusion if you don't keep thinking about it. Delusion is the same. Delusion is being caught up in stories, nonsense stories. From conversations, TV series are the most obvious. So easy to get caught up in a TV series. Get lost in the story and the expectation. I've weaned myself off it, mostly, but I still have a few things that remain. Judge Judy. I, uh, <laughs> it's just nonsense, but we absolutely love nonsense. I was talking to this comedian the other day, he's a stand-up comedian, and we were talking about what the essence what the essence of the trade is. And he has this story about the time when he had a girl back at his house, his parents' house, and his dad walked into the room and he, he covered her under the sheets so nobody could see. Nonsense story. But he tells this on the stage in front of 20,000 people. Why did 20,000 people go to listen to these stories? Because human beings, we absolutely love stories. We absolutely can't get enough of stories. Over and over again, even we go back and hear the same stories every time. For example, every single Mel Gibson film, it's the same story. <laughs> He's a good man, he's been wronged by evil people, and that gives him the excuse, and now he can go and beat people up and kill them. Every story. All the way up to Jesus, when he played Jesus, right? So, we love stories, um, but stories, again, will suck you into those machinations, those movements of the mind. And as you said, the unconditioned, or enlightenment, is something that isn't the movement of the mind, doesn't arise, doesn't cease, doesn't change. So we have to disentangle ourselves from all that stuff that sucks your attention in. There are certain states of mind that are...